All right, take the sack off her. <sighs> cool it, little lady. Hysterics aren't gonna help you now. You know why you're here, right? Oh, I think you do, beautiful. I think you do. See, your boyfriend is an associate of mine. Mm-hmm. Sure. Of course you don't got a boyfriend. Pretty little thing like you. Ain't got no taste for bad men that are a little dangerous. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> Did you just try to scold me with a young man? <laughs> That's cute. But I'm pretty sure I'm more than 15 years your senior, little lady. Now let's get down to business, hmm? Tony, leave us. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I'm aware. Smoking cigars ain't exactly great for my health. You gonna tell me to put on a sweater next? Yeah, yeah, I'll catch my death of cold. Look, lady, cut the shit, all right? We're looking for Danny. No, we ain't seen him in weeks either. That's the problem. He owes me a lot of money. Mm-hmm, yeah, I bet. I bet he's not called you in weeks either. I'm sure you're incredibly worried about your boyfriend and all. That's why we need you to cooperate with us, sweetheart, okay? I'm a reasonable man. Wait, sorry, hold up. You ain't Danny's girlfriend? You're his mother. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> wow, I mean, wow, really? You're not kidding. Well, you look damn good for it, ma'am. Of course. I meant all of my compliments. Baffled me like crazy that the kid managed to snag him a beauty like you, and it turns out you're the little nuisance's mother. Ha! <laughs> I'll be damned. <sighs> I apologize for my curt demeanor, ma'am, truly. When you're the boss, sometimes you gotta be a little harsh, you know? But, to answer your question, yeah. Danny's been working for me up until recently. Then the little shit, no offense, decided he'd run off with $20,000 that belongs to me. Look, I don't want to come down hard on the kid, but if I do nothing... Thank you for understanding. Danny's got a lot of potential, and despite how this must look, you did a good job of raising him solo. He speaks highly of you. I was afraid you'd find out his line of work and would disown him or something. <laughs> That's what I said. Can I offer you some wine? Bourbon? <laughs> sure. A bit of wine for the fine young lady. There we go. I really am sorry for scaring you, miss. Usually when I have to do this, I get spitfires that get in my face. Won't give up their boys for nothing. Force me to do a big, scary thug versus a reasonable man. Please, please. Mr. Mizrati was my father. Call me Aldo. Or just Al, eh? Man, I cannot get over how young you look. Pretty thing like you has to have men falling all over themselves just to ask you out, eh? What? If they're bothered by you being a single mom, then they don't know what they're missing. Me? A father? <laughs> no, I never had a chance to settle down in my line of work. I do spoil my nieces rotten, though. Especially when my brother-in-law gets under my skin. One wrong look, and I'm taking them to see Glinda the Good Witch on ice and buying him the loudest, most annoying toys I can find. <laughs> oh, I know. 
I'm bad, bad man. Mm-hmm. Listen, I don't like putting young men in graves. Danny's a little shit, but he doesn't deserve to get a bullet between his eyes, I don't think. Not when he's got such a beautiful care and mother waiting on him to come home, eh? <laughs> Am I flirting? Well, I might be. It's not often I find a lady my age that's just so... I mean, pardon my French, but damn. I can't exactly help myself, can I? Especially after I made such an ass of myself. <laughs> I've been told I can be quite the charmer when I want to be, yeah. You're quite charming yourself, my dear. Hmm. <laughs> Would I forgive Danny if you agreed to a date? Hmm. You are a beautiful woman, my dear. No question. $20,000 is a lot, however. I admire your drive to protect your son as well. Oh? You think that might get him to come home so we can talk about this? Hmm. He's protective of you, eh? Doesn't seem it. Not to mention that you could be snatched by a devastatingly handsome mobster to pay for his crimes. No offense, I mean. He could stand to be a little bit more considerate is all I'm saying. <laughs> really? He's interrupted every single one of your dates over the years. That against a new dad, huh? I can honestly never say I thought I'd be in a position where I could take one of my associate's mothers out to dinner. Just to politely get a mild amount of revenge and make a point. That's a high school joke, you know? Hey, I want Danny safe too, miss. I promise. I don't kill unless I absolutely have to. And I understand how young men get mixed up into this sort of lifestyle. Money's good. Lots of freedom. But the power can really go to your head, I suppose. No drugs, ma'am. Not my style. Though, I can't speak for his outside activities, so... What time am I picking you up this Friday, huh? 8 p.m. it is. Dress up for me, won't you? Been a while since I've had someone so beautiful on my arm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll text Danny and let him know we met. If that doesn't drag him home, then maybe seeing us at a nice dinner will do the trick, eh? <laughs> oh, I promise I'm a perfect gentleman, miss. Here, let me kiss the back of your hand to prove it. Mwah. See? <laughs> ah, so bashful. Been a while, hmm? Me too. I hope you'll forgive an old dog for any mistakes that he might make over a nice dinner. Perhaps a show? Oh, it's no trouble. I really appreciate you cooperating me on this, ma'am. You truly are a delight. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll have the address and everything, and you have my word that Danny won't be harmed, okay? You just relax, and I'll see you come Friday, okay? Great. Jamie, take this nice lady home, please. If she's hungry, you pull over and get her what she wants, got it? If she needs to pick up clothes for the date, you pull over, go in with her, and tell her what looks good, got it? On my tab. It's no trouble, miss. Honest. Consider it my apology for such a violent introduction, okay? Besides, money's no object when it comes to a beautiful lady. Have a good night, ma'am. I'll see you on Friday, all right? Hello? Ma? Hey, yeah, I know it's late, but, uh, I kind of got a date on Friday, and I may need the good suit I left with you to get ironed. <sighs> yes, she's worth the suit, okay? Can I come pick it up or not? 
Thanks. I'll be over tomorrow. Uh, she's a single mom, yeah. Oh, I've met her kid. Yeah, I've met him. We, uh, get along most of the time. Anywho, I'll be by tomorrow to get the suit. Love you. Yes, Ma. I'll bring groceries for dinner. I love you. Good night.